Dr. Dumulo, Dr. Petrosinelli, school committee members, faculty, parents, and honored guests. Welcome. It is a room filled with individuals such as yourselves that gives me, the op gives me the courage to stand before you tonight. You probably don't realize it, but the majority of you have had an impact on my life in some way. Every day, I wake up following the same routine. My alarm goes off at 5.45 a.m., and I casually hit the snooze button. But it's only 10 minutes before I wake to the loud music once again. I proceed by taking a shower, getting dressed, making a lunch, etc., etc. But when I get into my car and drive away from my house every morning, I never know just exactly what the day will bring or who my will encounter. Will it be a good day or a bad day? Did I fail that test I took last week, or did that actually help get me an A? How many people will bump into me today in the hallway? These are the kind of things that I ask myself as I pull away from my safe place. But aren't these the kind of questions that really matter? I was recently presented with an idea, or a philosophy rather, that analyzes true meaning of one's life. It is called the Charles Schultz philosophy. I'm going to read you, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. You don't actually have to answer these questions, but really try and think about them. Name the five wealthiest people in the world. Name the last five winners of the Miss America pageant. Name the last half dozen Academy Award winners for Best Actor and Actress. Name 10 people who have won the Nobel Prize. Name the last decade's worth of World Series winners. And name the last five Heisman Trophy winners. Well, how did you do? <laughs> the point is that none of us remember the headliners of yesterday. These are no second-rate achievers because they are undoubtedly the biggest in their field. But the applause dies, awards tarnish, achievements are forgotten, accolades and certificates are buried with their owners. It only takes a matter of time before the next best athlete or the next best pop singer hits the stage. But how many of these people really have an impact on our lives? Sure, I am just as interested in pop culture as the next person, but when my day ends, None of these award winners or stars have changed anything. So here's another quiz. List a few teachers who have aided your journey through school. Name three friends who have helped you through a difficult time. Name five people who have taught you something worthwhile. Think of a few people who have made you feel appreciated and special. And think of five people you enjoy spending time with. Select in. The people who make a difference in your life are not the ones with the most credentials, the most money, or the most awards. And they are certainly not the ones who push and shove you in the hallway either. No, they are the ones that care. They are the teachers who stay after school with you to help make up an assignment, or who you go to for advice. They are the friends who help you through the hardest of times, and parents who are present in every stage of your life. For me, it isn't the world as a whole that keeps me going, because the world in its entirety does not care about me. Famous people do not care about me, and rich people do not care about me. It is the people I have here, the people sitting in this room tonight that push me forward. It is an older sister graduating in college that pushes me to succeed. It is a younger brother that I wish to be a role model for. Friends that are like family, and family that never die. Without these aspects of my life, I am just another face in the crowd. So God, thank you for being the people that make a difference in my life. For making my boring, everyday routine just a little more interesting and for caring. Now think about the people in your life that care about you. And keep in mind that you already have at least one person that will hopefully make an impact on your life. Because I can.